les voy comentando que Nubia es de Colombia, de la Escuela Colombiana de Ingeniería, Julio Garavito. El paper lo voy a pegar aquí. Es 3D Reconstruction of Damage Caused by a Stroke Using Magnetic Resonance Imaging Processing. Y los autores son Nubia Palacios Quecán, Camilo Pérez Ospino y Sandra Cancino Suárez. Thank you. So, hello everyone. Uh, my project is 3D reconstruction of damage caused by a stroke using magnetic resonance imaging processing. Uh, my team is me, Nubia Palacios, uh, Camilo Pérez, and my teacher, Sandra Cancino. So, first one, uh, the World Health Organization uh, have that 50 million people uh, every year have a stroke and 5 million of them uh, have, uh, are perma permanently disabled. So that it's something important uh, detecting these, these strokes. So for the detection stroke uh, in the biography, we have a three uh, methods. Uh, the first one is probabilistic method, like uh, uh, expectation maximization. Then we have growing regions methods, like uh, gel and night triangulation and active counter. That is that we do it, or we yeah. And uh, then we have methods of artificial intelligence. Uh, we don't use that. Don't use that because the the number of images are no uh, enough to to do it la artificial intelligence methods well the pro the objectives for this project we have to perform a 3d reconstruction of magne magnetic resonance brain images uh, for uh, lesions uh, caused by strokes and uh, for that reasons, we highlight the images, uh, the regions that contain the stroke, uh, stroke disturbed regions, uh, then evaluate the segmentation with the database uh, Atlas R1.1, uh, extract the relevant features of each slices, and validate the 3D reconstruction with the uh, images that have the database. So uh, first one, we have our database that is Atlas E1.1. Uh, we have in this database 229 subjects. Uh, each subject have a different kind of lesion uh, by a stroke. Uh, the files of the database are in Nifty. That is um, uh, a special uh, format to to have the neur neuronal images and um, uh, we have a csv file that contain our metadata of the lesions so for checking into account first the project is focused in the lesions caused in the middle cerebral artery that is the Artery you can see in the image, this one, mm -hmm. and uh, we delimit uh, the process in this range. Uh, then we have uh, that the uh, the server aqueduct have uh, the same the same um, like. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> eh, Don't worry. <laughs> eh, the, same, the same intensities that have the lesion. Uh, for that case, we consider that a uh, noise. And uh, for for uh, make uh, better the segmentation of the lesion, we uh, have a segment the encephalon and the, and the school. Uh, to to do it that. 
So the methodology, it's a, like in images, it's pre-processing to the process of the segmentation, then a evaluated segmentation, uh, have uh, post-processing, and a, be the 3D reconstruction, char extract uh, some characteristic and uh, have the 3D reconstruction validation. And then we have uh, like a graphic interface to, uh, to uh, see the 2D and 3D uh, segmentations of the, of the lessons. So first one, <laughs> Like I said before, uh, we have the H brain or the aqueduct cerebral. Uh, it's a noise because uh, you can see here the intensities are so similar. So uh, we segmented uh, the aqueduct. Um, we do it like. Um, sorry. Like a <laughs> making an exchange of contrast, uh, then we binarize that uh, image and making um, a morphological operators uh, to have our seeds uh, to make it a uh, active contour, and this seed uh, expands and and make uh, the volume or the result of the segmentation. Uh, then we segment the, encep the encephal and the skull. Uh, we do it the skull. It's uh, easier because we uh, take it into account the intensities uh, more of 0.9. Uh, 0.9 so the school is in that intensity so it it's easy but the school we uh, do something similar to the uh, aqueduct and making a acid uh, and use the active contour uh, then we have in the processing we have two images uh, that are important the first one that is this one, is the EGS image, that is image to generate seed. Uh, we uh, have this image uh, having a exchange of contrast again, but then we uh, binarize them and uh, make the contrast of the image, and we have this one. Then we have the AC by I uh, image, that is this one. That is the active contour based image. Uh, if you know the active contour, you need acid and you need a uh, image to is the base uh, that the seed is going to expand on the on the image and going to expand the contour. So we do it here the same an exchange of contrast uh, and uh, then uh, we as at the school and the and the aqueduct segmentations that you see. Then uh, for this uh, image to generate it, we uh, taking into account the symmetry of the axial uh, image in the brain. We put uh, we divide it into into pieces, the left and the right. So uh, them. Uh, we uh, subtract the the left uh, image to the right to have this uh, like this zone uh, for be the the seats. But when we subtract, uh, we have like uh, other uh, other points uh, for these uh, zones. So for that, we uh, do. Um, Oper a morphological operands to uh, have these seeds. And you put this seed in the in the IC by image. And when you use the active contour, uh, you have this initial result that we have here. 
So then, <laughs> uh, for a uh, segment uh, the uh, the lesson right, uh, we need uh, to to uh, complete the holes we have in the in the um, in the segmentation, and then we uh, take into account the maximum area that we have. Uh, because if you notice here, we have other other things that we don't. It, it's not important for us. So uh, when you take into account the uh, major area, you have uh, the lesson, and you can see in, in this image the segmentation of the lesson, and then you concatenate it uh, all the actual images and have the. the the volume, the final volume. So for the results, uh, we have uh, our uh, dice for for patients or for subjects, and then uh, we have a uh, further we have a uh, other two metrics that is the centroid and the volume. Uh, this is because uh, we do it a uh, survey. And we compare uh, the the database uh, segmentation and our segmentation, and uh, people said that uh, they think that uh, our segmentation it's uh, like um, no better, but it's uh, most delimited that the database. Uh, Segmentation because uh, the segmentation of the database it uh, do it with uh, with professionals and do it uh, for their hands. So for that reason, uh, maybe it's not uh, like so delimited that hour. But uh, <laughs> for that reason, we have these um, these results of dice. And uh, we compare the centroid and the volume. For the centroid and the volume, we have uh, percentage errors that we can see, uh, for example, in the centroid, uh, the percentage errors in general is less than a uh, 10%. Uh, that is good because uh, this is represented. The lesion is in the in the same uh, location that is in the database and the volume we have a uh, this percentage of errors it's more than the centroid uh, that is because we have a sub-segment lesion so for that reason uh, the the percentage is uh, it's more high or yeah and then we have uh, our graphic interface for uh, interact with the 2D and 3D segmentations. Um, this, uh, for that, we can see here like a little table that have uh, the characteristics of the lesion, like uh, their volume, uh, their surface area, location, and you can interact for the 2D, you can slide, and the 3D lesions. Uh, that have like a reference the the school segmentation uh, to see better the location of of the lesion. And for finally the conclusions uh, we have that is the the automatic algorithm we propose a segment uh, like try the three D the lesions and have a three D reconstruction of magnetic resonance images. It's um, our interface, it's friendly and allows both 2D and 3D visualizations of the lesions and can be helpful for the experts. And that I can say, uh, based on the survey, uh, the segmentation given by the algorithm, it's adequate for health healthcare personnel. Um, and this is all, so thank you. Thank you, Nubia.
Uh, do you prefer the question in English or Spanish? Ah, uh, but it's okay. <laughs> Both? Yeah. Okay. Bueno, le eh, pedimos al público ahora, tenemos unos minutitos para preguntas. Si alguien este, se anima, que las vaya escribiendo en el chat o en la sección de preguntas y respuestas. Eh, Acá, María Mercedes, que es la siguiente oradora, y le voy a pedir que se vaya, que, que ya se vaya su, su, sumando, que ya se vaya conectando. Pregunta, eh, ¿cuáles creen que son los aportes más significativos de su investigación? Bueno, eh, digamos, la, lo más significativo es como tener esa reconstrucción 3D. O sea, para el profesional va a ser más fácil entender dónde está ubicada, qué tan grande es, qué tanto daño llegó a causar si lo ve en tres dimensiones que en dos dimensiones. Entonces, creo que eso es uno de los aportes más significativos en términos del de profesional que la va a utilizar. Perfecto. Yo tengo, tengo un par de preguntas también. El, mientras capaz surge alguna más, este... Ahí va, bienvenida María. El... ¿Cómo, cómo, ¿Cómo se compara este algoritmo que están preparando, proponiendo ustedes con, con otros algoritmos de, que hay en la literatura, digamos? Este, como, y, y te hago la segunda pregunta. El, esta encuesta que ustedes hicieron a personal de salud, este, ¿cómo, la o sea, ¿cómo la hicieron? En, 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 que, ¿Es algo sistemático o preguntaron ahí medio al azar? Este, contame un poco de esas dos cosas. Eh, bueno, la comparación con otros algoritmos, eh, desafortunadamente como eh, no la pudimos hacer porque no tenemos como tal los, o sea, no tuvimos eh, en ese momento eh, como el tiempo y el acceso a esos eh, algoritmos. Entonces, eh, no los pudimos realizar y también porque la mayoría de algoritmos es, eh, manejan formatos DICOM y nos, la base de datos que nosotros tenemos es justo un, un formato nuevo que se está dando, que es Nifty, que es para también, eh, para como generalizar todas estas imágenes neurológicas. Entonces, eh, por eso no pudimos hacer como la comparación, eh, pero estamos buscando eh, hacerla a futuro. Y eh, la encuesta, eh, tuvimos eh, diferentes preguntas como... Eh, qué hacían en el área de la salud, eh, incluso pusimos como imágenes de las segmentaciones, de, tanto de la base de datos como la nuestra, para que ellos nos dijeran cuál creían que era más adecuada, no lo, no lo quisimos decir como mejor o algo. Y también en esa encuesta estaba como las características que ellos querían que hubiera en, en alguna herramienta. Entonces, luego de esa encuesta, como que la distribuimos eh, por redes sociales, por un montón de lados, eh, por personas que conocíamos, y, y obtuvimos esos resultados, nos tocó filtrarlos porque hubo personas que de pronto no estaban en el área de la salud, entonces esas respuestas no las tuvimos en cuenta, y pues fue así como, como realizamos esa encuesta y... Eh, tuvimos en cuenta también qué extraer de, la, de las lesiones. Ok, perfecto, Nubia, muchas gracias, no, no hay más preguntas, así que este, te, te despedimos. 